A triple threat of snow, cold and wind heading our way for Thursday. Now that's important, that timing. So if you have things to do on Wednesday, you're good to go. Dry conditions. It's Thursday morning through Thursday evening. We have a winter storm watch. The cold will last beyond this time frame into Friday and even Saturday morning. But as far as the storm and the snow goes, it hits Thursday. So let's walk through the timeline. Mix to snow. We may see a little rain or rain snow mix Thursday morning. Temperatures will fall from the 30s to the 20s. I think the bulk of our accumulation is really about noon to 7 o'clock in St. Louis on Thursday. It'll be snowy, it'll be windy, blizzard-like even. And blizzard technically is all about reduced visibility, quarter mile or less for three hours or longer. Even if we don't meet that criteria, you're still talking about a distraction and a travel disruption. It's going to be nasty to be on the road Thursday afternoon to early evening. And it gets cold quickly. We're down to 4 degrees by 7 o'clock, wind chill of minus 17. Even after the snow ends, blowing snow Thursday evening and Thursday night, could still cause travel issues and we have dangerous wind chills when Thursday night into Friday night a range of minus 15 to minus 30. All right let's go hour by hour here we're dry Wednesday you're going to notice this thin line of snow or maybe a little burst of rain snow mix move in at 7 a.m. Not all the models agree with that, but I wanted to show it to you just to prepare you in case it does happen. That would happen a little earlier than we anticipate. The bulk of our accumulation really comes in that late morning into the afternoon. You'll see here at noon, steady snow moving in and we're down to 25. What a mess in the afternoon to evening, five o'clock, we're at seven, gust to 40 miles per hour. So it's cold, it's windy, it's snowy. You don't want to be on the roads. By seven, eight o'clock, it's ending in St. Louis, but it's going to take a little longer on our Illinois side, Centralia, Nashville, Vandalia, you're done by late evening on Thursday. We're talking two to five inches for most of us. We could see an area to the north northeast a little more and to the southeast a little less. And bottom line is most of us in that two to five inch range. We have another day of model data to look at too, including some newer high res models that will come online. We don't see them because they don't go far out in advance. So we'll start to see them about a day before. And if we get a curveball or new information, we'll let you know about it. Okay, so Thursday, look at the low 32 in the morning, but the slash zero, the zero is midnight. It just goes to show how temperatures are crashing. So while it's 30s in the morning, we're at zero by midnight. It's going to get cold quickly in the afternoon to evening. And that's our snow day Thursday. Snow ends and Friday is dry but cold, minus three. That would be the coldest December temperature in St. Louis since 1989 in over 30 years. And wind chills minus 15 to minus 30. Saturday morning's first alert weather day is really focused on just the morning, although it's still cold in the afternoon, but the, the wind chill is not quite into that dangerous range. But we're dry Saturday and Sunday, and if we do get an inch of snow or more and it stays as a, a snow depth of one inch by Christmas morning, that technically is a white Christmas. It has to be one inch snow depth on Christmas morning. So even though our snow will compact and shrink a little bit, it's not going to melt by Sunday morning. There's a chance for a white Christmas this year. 23 for the high on Sunday and dry. Might see some light snow Sunday night into Monday.